Okay, good day. This tutorial will focus on creating your first Java project with the use of Eclipse IDE. All right, so we'll use the Eclipse IDE to create your first Java program. Now, Eclipse is an integrated development environment with strong support for Java. So basically, in 2020, the Eclipse IDE is one of the leading IDEs with approximately 1 million downloads per month. So it, it's, it's used a lot. All right. I, so I have previously covered how to go about downloading Eclipse. And I've also covered how to download the Java development kit, which you will need to run your, your Java programs. All right. So with that being said, let us now go ahead and create our first Java program. And like any good or any brilliant programmer, right, our first program will be Hello World. All right. So and then later on, maybe in this video or a follow up video, we'll then create a simple program to calculate the circumference area diameter of a circle. All right. So let's start our coding. So first things first, I'll start my Eclipse IDE. All right, so as I say, we're going to do a simple hello world. Now workspace, as you are seeing right here, is the default location for storing your programs once you are using Eclipse. So I'll just launch this, leave that as a default. We can always change that later. All right. All right. So to create to create our first project, first things first, we're going to click on new. It's a new icon, menu icon right here. We're going to click the drop down arrow beside that, and we're going to click Java project. You could also click File, go to New, and then Java Project, whichever way you prefer. It's up to you. All right, so we'll create a Java Project. All right, so we are going to give the project a name. I'm going to name my project Hello World. As all great programmers do, our first program in any language should be hello world all right take that from me all right so after naming the project we'll just go ahead and click next all right so right here we want to uncheck where it says create module info that java file all right so i want to uncheck that box all right and we'll click finish all right, so basically the project folder was created for us right here. So this is our project folder. Nothing is really in the folder at the moment apart from the, like the necessary system library, right? And then a subfolder to store our source code. All right, so what we want to do now is we want to go ahead and create a new class a Java class, so I'll right click on this. So right click on the Hello World project folder, navigate to new, and then we'll click on class. All right. So we're going to create a package name. So we could leave the default package, which would be basically an unnamed package. Now remember I said that Java works with packages libraries and you have built-in packages but you can also go ahead and create your own so i'd advise when you are creating your projects you should put them in packages all right so i'm going to call this package hello all right let me just and i am going to call this class, I'm going to give the class a name. I'm going to call it hello class. 
all right now where it says which method stubs would you like to create all right so right here where it says what we want to do is to ensure that we have a uh, the public static void main um method so we're going to click that checkbox right there everything else seems to be okay so we gave our package a name we named the class we're going to leave it as a public class we ensure that we click the checkbox for the method for the public static void main method so we're going to go ahead and click finish all right so you'll see we bring up some default code for us cool now where it says to do auto generated method stub i can just do away with this so i'll delete that and I'll go ahead and create the first line of code that will actually display something on the screen for us. I'm going to type system dot out dot print ln. All right. So this will now allow us to display some sort of output to our console screen I always end with your semicolon all right so i'm going to say hello world all right so that's our first program so once i click the run icon here if all goes well then we should see our program now it is asking us to select the resource that we want to save so remember how java work again is that you take the source code you compile the source code once the source code is compiled we turn that into what we call java bytecode and the java bytecode is what is then actually interpreted and run so we can see the result of our of our programming or our code all right so yes i'm using the hello class that java file to click OK and all is well so if you notice in the console here it says hello world so our program is working all right 